Hi everybody, this is Agnes from No Sediment and today we're going to talk about the grape of many names, Primitivo, also known as Zinfandel, also known as Tribidrag. Not so long ago, Primitivo plantings in Italy were slowly decreasing as this grape variety was mostly used as a blending partner to other wines adding alcohol and body. While in California, under name of Zinfandel, it was planted in many unsuited sites and yielded high amount of fruit not suitable for high quality wines. This fruit was mostly destined for the production of semi-sweet light pink wines called white or blush Zinfandel. Nowadays, it has achieved high popularity and is made as a single varietal red wine of full body and expressive dark ripe fruit flavors both in Italy and California. Unfortunate to those who believe that Zinfandel is native to America, its origin is actually believed to be Croatia, where it is found under its oldest name, Tribidrag. And thanks to the increased success of Primitivo and Zinfandel grape varieties, Tribidrag plantings have also increased in Croatia. Its Italian name Primitivo is believed to come from Latin word Primitivus, and that means first to ripen. So for those who doubt it, there is nothing primitive about this grape variety. It will usually tend to develop high sugar content, therefore Primitivo wines will show elevated alcohol levels with 15% being absolutely normal. Primitivo will usually be quite deep in color and on the nose show expressive ripe dark berries such as blackberries, plums and blueberries, as well as dried and cooked fruit such as strawberry jam and preserved plums. Because Primitivo ripens unevenly and within a single bunch you might find both overripe and underripe berries, you might notice some herbal notes in these wines. In contrast, you rarely will find these notes in Californian Zinfandels, which are all about sweet and ripe fruit. Sometimes both Primitivo and Zinfandel can have almost like syrupy texture. These wines tend to be full-bodied and due to high fruit concentration, they may seem to have residual sugar. The best examples might be aged in oak and therefore show some earthiness and savory characters mixed within the fruit. Tannins of Primitivo or Zinfandel are present, but they are never aggressive or coarse. They are rather sweet and ripe and add playful character and structure to the wine. Due to its high alcohol and full body, these wines might not be perfect for super hot summer days, but they are great with almost any meat grilled on the open fire, as the rich marinated and smoky meat that often will show protein caramelization in form of slight bitterness will go beautifully together with rich, full-bodied and opulent wines made from Primitivo and Zinfandel grape varieties. If you like this video, make sure to watch my other video on the Pinot Noir that is total opposite of the grape variety Primitivo.